every Adopt Me pet's value. With over 347 pets to go and collect in Adopt Me, some of you might want to know what the rarity of them are. So let's go and check them out. Starting off with the event pets, you know, the pets that we don't get to keep. That's right, Adopt Me has never added back the Scooby-Doo, the Pumpkin, or the 2D Kitten. Maybe they will in the future, so let's jump straight into the common pets and find out what is the most common, common pet. The most common common is a cat shortly followed by a dog, which I'm pretty sure everyone has a million of. So if you're ever trying to get rid of a pet, these are the most common pets in all of Adopt Me. Shortly followed by a buffalo and then an otter, which I can definitely see probably changing soon as those are both from the retired egg now. Then we have a mouse, an ant, a bally starling, and a malleo bird. Above each pet, you will see a number. That is its ranking out of its rarity. For example, the Bally Starling is the 15th most common common. Underneath the pet, we can see where the pet came from. For example, the ant came from the basic egg update. Now let's continue to see what is next. A Sado Mole. Bro, I have barely seen any of those in the game. To be fair, I don't think I've seen any of these as a Neon or a Mega Neon. Maybe I will in the future once they're more rare. But let me know if you've ever seen any of these. I didn't even know Adopt Me had a dugong, to be honest. Up next is the Wolpatinga. Still a pretty funny pet. Then a Stingray, a Walrus, and a Ground Sloth. I actually don't know what the rarest common's gonna be. See if you guys can also go and predict what the rarest legendary will be. And all of this information is based off of the audience's input. Okay, we got the Tasmanian, the Bandicoot, the Robin, and the Chick. Okay, I can see why the Chick would be a pretty rare common because that's from a long time ago. I wish Adopt Me would do more things where it's just like the Chick, you know? Then again, we did just get a bunch of pets in the new Easter update, so hands in the air, it was a good update. But the Robin is very cute, and I do have a Mega Neon. The rarest common is a chicken coming out of the farm egg. Okay, I mean, fair enough. That makes sense. The farm egg is a very old egg. Up next, we will find the uncommon pets because they're uncommon. The most common uncommon is a chocolate Labrador. Shortly followed by a Phoenix, then a Puma, and then the lovely Snow Cat, which are all located from the retired egg, which wasn't always retired, it just used to be in the pet egg. Then we have the Camel, the Donkey, the Poodle, and the Bandit Palm Civet. Don't really know what that animal is, but it's out of the Southeast Asia egg, so I guess you can still get a bunch of them. I also challenge you all to go and tell me what are your favorite pets out of each of these rarities. So what is your favorite uncommon pet? What's your favorite ultra rare pet? And comment down below. So I'm gonna go and select someone and go and give them one of each of those pets. Then we have some more pets. The yellow sea crate, which I think I hatched a million of. The black mummy cat, still a very nice looking pet. A rhino beetle and a tanuki. I do like the tanuki to be fair. All right, then we have a possum. Okay, you can buy the possum in the camping shop. I think it's quite expensive though, so I, I'd have thought it would have been higher up there. The red cardinal has low demand. Okay, very low demand. Then the frog spawn. Alright, uh, to be fair, the frog spawn is a pretty mean pet, so you'd have thought that would be up there, but it is what it is. And we got a slug. Ah, uh, we like slugs. Then the Halloween blue scorpion. Okay, fair. Then a rock. Then the therapy dog. Um, I wonder why the therapy dog is rarer than the rock because that came out more recently But I guess it probably cost more bucks or something. So I guess that kind of makes sense the blue scorpion I've never seen a neon. I don't even know what that looks like uh, Then a chickatrice still don't know if that's how I say it. you guys always diss my uh, my saying so uh, feel free to roast me in the comments. Then a Kirin, an Ermine, and a Crab. I have probably pronounced all of these animals wrong at least a million times today, so it's fine. And then we have a Dolphin, the Uplift Butterfly. 1,500 bucks for an uncommon. I can't remember it costing that much, but sure. Uh, so there's actually two butterflies, the Uplift Butterfly from 21 and then the Uplift Butterfly from 22. Does that mean we're getting an Uplift Butterfly 23? Maybe so. I wonder, I wonder when that will happen. They like the butterflies because it's actually their logo, a butterfly. Uh, we got the Snow Leopard, now we got the Stegosaurus, my favorite update, the update that I think has been untoppable since, um, which is why I had like 2 billion active players. Then we have a bat and a dingo. 
Dingo from Aussie, from Aussie Australia. Some of you guys think I'm from Aussie Australia. Um, obviously, I'm not. I'm from England. Then we've got a Glyptodon, my favorite daddy dog. A snowman, cost you 2k gingerbread. A wolf came out of the Christmas egg. And a drake came out of the farm egg. Now, I'm actually intrigued. What are going to be the next four pets on the uncommon section? All right, we got a silly duck, which I've got right here. Yes, I hatched you a real silly duck. If you want to see a video where I hatch you a bunch of these, subscribe and you will see that coming out very soon. A capybara, a black panther. I thought that would have really high demand, but it seems that the wild boar, a meerkat, and then the pink and blue classic pets are taking in the number one spots. Then again, the blue dog and the pink cat were some of the first pets ever to be introduced into Adopt Me. No idea why the creators of Adopt Me decided the first ever pets they'd add would be blue and pink, but that's what they did. So that that's that's it. Now we're moving on to the rare pets. What could possibly be the rarest pet in the game? I, I don't know. So the most common rare pet is a beaver. And I'm not surprised as I probably have a million. So we've got number 63 is the rabbit and then 61 is the bunny. So they're both the same rarity, both from the same egg, but the bunny is more favored because probably it's cuter, let's be honest. We all like the preppy values in Adopt Me, so that is most likely why some of these pets are high on the list because they look cute. Then an ox, a tiger, parakeet, and a orangutan if that's how you pronounce it. The ox is still statistically one of the most hated pets in the game, not gonna lie. Then the zebra, the ghost wolf, the moon bat, and a gecko. The gecko is cute, guys. I, want, I, I haven't seen a Meganian gecko. A tazia, gorilla, ibis, and a leopard cat. Uh, the gorilla, probably gonna increase in value, but it was so easy to get them. I have 100, I opened up 100 boxes, so. That is why I have 100, because I spent all of my Robux and I'm slightly insane. And then we've got the Koi, the Pony, the Woodpecker, and a Red Fox. Interesting, so those came out of the Woodland Eggs, which is uh, somewhat recent. Then the Hare, 35,000 Easter Eggs, okay. It's a lot of Easter Eggs, I've only managed to get one Hare so far. Then the white mummy cat, the Abyssidian cat, and an ocelot. Uh, ocelot. <laughs> My spelling. Roast me, I dare you. Uh, you think the Abyssidian cat would be better than an ocelot since that's 700 bucks and the ocelot's 500 bucks? But I guess you guys base it off of preppy values and the ocelot looks cuter, so fair. Then we got a merhorse, the bloodhound, basilisk, and the pudding cat. I gotta make a neon pudding cat, let's be honest. It would just make sense for me, right? Because my logo's a tiger. A Sasquatch, a yellow butterfly, a happy duckling. A happy duckling is that rare? They have that much demand? I'm going to test that theory out later. I'm going to trade some happy ducklings and see what offers I can go and get for it. That's so interesting. Uh, then we have the Irish elk. Uh, Christmas update with gingerbread? I did not know that. There's so many pets to remember, as I said, over 300 pets, so if my brain was to remember all of them, that would be very impressive. Then we have a seahorse and a narwhal. Then we got a goldfish, which has got as good as a, a memory as me. Um, a summer walrus, a steppe lion, and the evil Daoshound. Then we got a mule, a dilophosaurus, a pterodactyl, and a woolly mammoth. That's right, pterodactyl starts with a P. One of the weirdest spellings in existence, I don't know who decided that. It's pterodactyl, not pterodactyl. What will be next, I honestly don't know. It's a surprise to me as much as it's a surprise to you. The monkey? Bro, well, these don't have much value. The low demand. Now we're getting into the mid demand. Mid emu and a kelpie. Then a border collie. Uh, cost of robux. Then we've got the goose. Okay, goose is cool. 150 Robux though. Expensive for only a rare. Then we've got the husky, the musk, ox, and a lynx. I actually don't know what the number one rare pet will be. We've got a rat, reindeer, polar bear, and a swan. Some of these are really old pets. Adopt Me has some pretty cool ones. Swan's pretty similar to the goose, but the OG, you know. Um, rare, we got a pig a brown bear, a rhino, and a shrew. 
Now the most rare, rare pet, honestly I don't know, is it gonna be a cow? I think a cow will be the number one spot. Let's see if I was right. Let's find out the number one spot is, oh an elephant, okay. So the elephant came out of the safari egg, which was before the farm egg. And yeah, I guess there's a lot of demand to going and getting Dumbo the elephant since it's a pretty cool pet, but I'd say the cow's cooler in my opinion. And then the hyena, I kind of forgot that the hyena even exists. Uh, it's got high demand though, apparently. So if you've got a hyena, then probably trade them for quite a bit. How many ultra rare pets are there? I think there'll be 70. Bro, there's 94 ultra rare pets in Adopt Me. That is so many to collect. I didn't know there was that many. So the most common ultra rare is a red panda, then the Sheba, then the Persian cat, bro. The Persian cat should be the most common one, or the Luna Ox. I, I'm sure that most people had so many Persian cats. A white tiger, a bee. You'd think the bee would be higher up there because it costs your Robux. But, you know, I guess it's been in the game for a long time. I wonder if they'd ever remove it. The ginger cat, the sloth, the ladybug, the robot, and the swordfish. Bro, there are so many pets. And I don't know what the number one spot will be. Then we've got a corgi, the black makaku, a binturong, and the komodo dragon. All of those came out of the Southeast Asia egg most recently, which is pretty cool. Then we've got the trapdoor snail, a spider crab a crane and a squirrel. I've not seen a neon squirrel or a mega neon, so if anyone's got one, let me know. Then we've got a toucan, pretty cool pad to be fair, and it's free out of the star reward, so not bad. Then we've got a king penguin, salamander, and a pine martin. I had no idea that there were this many ultra rares. The tan chow chow, bro, I forgot the chow chows even existed. The hydra, that is a pretty epic pad, let's be honest. The hydra's got three heads, um, very classic mythical animal. A ribbon seal, a badger, starfish, and a black scarab. Now, place of predictions, what will be the most rare ultra rare? The brown chested pheasant, the pony, the penguin. Bro, I've seen like a million penguins. That should be like the top of the most common in the ultra rare section. The penguin should. Actually, wait, they removed the penguins, didn't they? Did they remove them? Am I going crazy? Are the penguins non obtainable now? I, I think so. The gingerbread reindeer? Yeah, how many of you guys actually spend Christmas Day going and getting that reindeer? Because I did. I got a bunch of them. I spent Christmas doing that. Then the wood pigeon? I still don't have one! 60,000 Easter eggs. It's very expensive, so I can see why it's rare. Because I don't have one yet, and it takes a lot of time to get 60,000 Easter eggs. The evil basilisks? I do like the evil pets. There's just something about the colors. That looks nice. The green Amazon, cows, water rabbits, and a horse. Flower duckling that came out recently. The skelly dog. Let's be real, the skelly dog is a very nice pet design. I wish I have enough to make a neon, but it just takes so long. The snowball pet, yeah, fat, 99 Robux for an ultra rare. I wish they did that for every pet. Um, I need to get more snowball pets. I'm not sure how easy it is to trade, but uh, there you go. A space whale costs 2,500 bucks and is the rarity of number 39. That's so many bucks. So you're telling me I could trade an orange butterfly for a space whale? Potentially. A sprout snail, those pets are funny. I'm gonna try and make a neon of them, I wish. Uh, then we got the Royal Palace Spaniel. 299 Robux, I forgot that that even existed. The Royal Corgi costs 4,000 bucks? Bro, I did not know it cost that many bucks. That's crazy. So to have like a Mega Neon of them is a lot, right? Pomeranian. I used to always want a Pomeranian when I was a kid. And um, yeah, now it's in Adopt Me. <laughs> An Irish Water Spaniel, another Spaniel, a Springer Spaniel, the Chef Gorilla, the Karate Gorilla. Bro, all of the Gorillas are just, there's no rarity them. If you've got a Mega Neon Gorilla, that it's basically not right. No offense, because there was the glitch. I made a video where people could just literally turn a Mega Neon regular gorilla into a Mega Neon Emperor gorilla. I thought we did nothing about that glitch, which was interesting. They never even explained anything. The Glacier Moth, I still actually don't have one of them. I need to buy five UGC items to go and get it. The Yeti, the Woolly Rhino, and a goat. Now, honestly, I don't know what's going to be up next. The Lamb, okay, fair enough. The Orca, 
I'm still yet to see a Neon Orca. Pretty difficult to go and get four 600 days star reward login, so fair enough. Then what do we have? A business monkey, okay. All of these are apparently high demand. Uh, a turkey, llama, puffin, and a platypus. I think um, I have enough llamas to make a neon, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know it was that rare. That's, that's nice. A zombie, buffalo, crocodile, lion, and a flamingo. Now, what will be the top two ultra rare pets? Honestly, I don't know. I think... I think it'll be a hedgehog. It's got to be a hedgehog. So let's find out. Is a, is a hedgehog even ultra rare? Oh, it is the Dalmatian and a hedgehog. Hedgehog is a cute pet. Barely anyone even knows that this pet exists. And then the Dalmatian came out the same time as a frost dragon. So four Dalmatians is basically the equivalent of one frost dragon. Now let's find out what is the most common legendary pet. And honestly, I actually don't know what this will be. Actually, I predict Metal Ox. A minion? A minion? I mean, I guess you could basically get infinite free minions, so fair enough to that. Then a Golden Tiger. Okay, that's more recent than the Metal Ox. you think the Lunar Moon Bear would be more common because it was more recent. But fair. Fair enough. Then we got the Griffin. Bro, the griffin needs to go higher up. This thing costs your Robux, and it's not obtainable. Then a dragon, a kitsune, a gold, bro, a golden mummy cat. Then we got a Cerberus. The the Cerberus is, has left now, right? So this will increase in value. Then the golden pets and a guardian lion, which also left the game. So that should theoretically go and increase in value pretty soon. Then the cobra, the unicorn, the robo dog, and the chocolate chow chow. I think that says Chulet, but we'll go with it. <laughs> then the Black Chow Chow, the King Bee, the Chimera, Chimera, bro, I don't know how you say it, so let me know how you pronounce it in the comments. Then the Golden Ladybug, the Golden King Penguin. You might see a theme that all of the legendaries just stick the word golden in front and uh, easy peasy legendary. <laughs> uh, a green butterfly, a dragonfly, lava wolf, not bad, I do like the lava wolf. I haven't seen a neon or a mega neon yet, so let me know. Then an ice moth, a peacock, which also just left the game. Lots of these pets are leaving the game. Then a golden unicorn, a white amazon, a maniki cat, the baku, but what will be number one? An axolotl, alicorn, a snow owl, I do have a Mega Neon Snow Owl, so I'll take that. Uh, light Brown Pony. I took so much to try and get one of those, but I got it in the end. Tree Kangaroo. Okay, came out recently. The Firefly. 500 Robux. Yeah, fair. Um, the Golden Pets. More Golden. Then a Hawk. And then a Fallow Deer. I can't believe there's 60 more legendaries to go and check out. Let me know how many of these you have. I guess you could add up all the points together or something. A Goldtorn, an Octopus, the Field Mouse just came out. Field Mouse has some pretty high demand with a 75,000 Easter egg cost. That is pretty expensive. So fair enough if you're able to get one. A Golden Rat, the Sunrise Duckling just came out. The average is 120,000 Easter eggs since it's a 1 in 10 odds. The Phoenix, to be fair, Neon Phoenix, still a, an amazing pet. So fair enough let me know if you got any of these then the winged tiger again i've never seen a neon winged tiger maybe that should be my goal because it's a really cool looking pet and it literally looks like they took my youtube logo and turned it into a pet then again the yule log dog also looks amazing in neon all of these pets just look so awesome then we've got the nessie the sugar glider a diamond ladybug and the tio denada Oh, I don't know what that is still. It's apparently a wooden log that you hit at Christmas and it gives you presents. A Skelly Rex, the Ninja, Diamond, and a Queen. I haven't seen a Skelly Rex for a long time. The Ice Golem. A lovely pet design, just not much hype to it. I don't know why. The Dancing Dragon, a Squid, and a Lavender Dragon. I feel like everyone would love the Lavender Dragon if they didn't know that you had to buy a DJ Game Pass and get it refunded. The Frost Fury, okay. I got a Mega Neon one of them. Uh, then a Capricorn. The Capricorn is a very expensive Robux pet, but it comes with a house, which is why it's expensive. Then what is going to be number one? We got a Lava Dragon high up there. It's the Strawberry Shortcake. There it is. The Strawberry Shortcake Bat Dragon. The Mecha Pop. Um, so many cool pets. 
There's literally so many that I just really want to make a neon, like the Strawberry Shortcake Bad Dragon. I need a neon one. Kangaroo and a turtle. Let's go. The Black Chested Pheasant. I feel that should be number one because it's, there's less of them than there is Mega Shadows, right? A Mega Black Chested. That's a fun fact. Diamond Butterfly and Arctic King and a Crow. And what is going to be the number one? If a Frost Dragon is number three, number six is a Parrot. Five is an Owl. Let's find out what will be the number one spot. Number three is a giraffe, number two is a bat dragon, and number one is obviously the shadow dragon. Thanks for watching, now click this video here to find out the best Adopt Me house builds. This one took over 50 hours to make, and you have to check this out right now.